I'm Taiki Hayami. I'm a member of the Amu family. Being a Yakuza was pretty tough. I'm Sakatari Toyo. I'm also a member of the Amu family. I'm one of the toughest guys out there. Comparing myself to others is pointless. Ayami, stop talking like that. That's loser talk. Competition is a part of everyone's life, Yakuza or not. Duh, you sound like Mr. Kudo. Let's talk about the assassination attempt on Mr. Noda. None of us saw it coming. It was the work of a professional. It was most likely the Tenoji family, a Yakuza based in the Kansai region. Yeah, Mr. Noda is still in the ICU, fighting for his life. When I found out who did this to him, I'm gonna kill him! Today we have some new information regarding Mr. Noda's assassination attempt, so... Let's get started! The Amo family is ready to go to war over this, and... Hold on! What the...? Hello everyone, I'm Yamato Sako, the genius of the Kyogoku family. Hello, I'm Takaru Nojima. I work for the Kyogoku family as well. What happened to your foot? I got in a fight and... I lost my leg. I'm lucky to be alive! We can talk about my leg later. Oh, okay. I heard you guys are talking about, uh, gang wars today, so I thought I'd join you guys, eh? As you know, the Kyogoku family is currently at war with a local gang called Ryzen, so, uh... What? And I also want to talk to you about Mr. Morikawa. Tell me more! Okay, first, let's take a look at the war against Ryzen. These guys, uh, they're pretty vicious, and they're causing a lot of trouble for a lot of people in the city. Sudakichi Namioka, a young member of a family, developed a system of his own that tracks down gang members around the city. Hmm. This looks bad. His favorite quote is, The pen is mightier than the sword. Maybe it shouldn't be a Yakuza. Shut up! And look who's talking! You're a sex addict who's only interested in getting laid! What? Namioka isn't much of a fighter, but he's one smart guy. So far, we took out Kamihara and Mamiya, both high-ranking members of the Reseen family. And we're gonna keep going until every last one of them is dead! That's right, and a few days ago, Shiraku, the guy who bombed our hideout and killed Mr. Sainoji, he went up against Mr. Kuga. Today is a good day. I get to murder Kuga, the best man they got. I'm gonna kill you right here, right now, no matter what it takes. Jiraku was quite strong. More about this epic battle in a future video. I sure hope he was okay. I can't wait! Calm down, Nojima-san. My bad. Next up, we have to talk about our fallen soldiers. First up, Takahashi, who was scouting out the place. He was made by Josaki, the boss of Resin. I'm gonna send you all to hell. I'll see you there, Arso! He stabbed him to death. Then Mr. Sayonji got killed by Shiraku. Die! Uh! He was banged up pretty bad already for the explosion, and he stabbed him from behind. They held Takahashi's funeral a few days ago. Takahashi, you did good. Takahashi, damn it! Mr. Kuga was devastated. He was like a brother to him. Then we had a funeral for Mr. Sayonji. Sayonji, rest in peace. You did good. Ah! I'm gonna kill you, Yosaki. Mark my words. We kept the funeral very small and discreet to protect ourselves. Ryzen is a vicious gang. Go do anything. If people gathered at the funeral, they might have tried to ambush us, so we had no choice. We wanted to have a big funeral for them, but... We couldn't even do that. The only way to make this right is to take out Reseen once and for all. Yeah, and a lot of people got severely injured in this war. Mr. Tagasago got cut from behind by Shino Nomi. He's still in the hospital. Mr. Anukai got severely injured in the explosion, and he got stabbed multiple times by Shiraku's throwing knife. And the traitor, Kitamura, he stabbed him in the back. Mr. Anukai is known for being tough, but he's still in the hospital to this day. And Nojima-san got hurt as well. I lost my foot when I went up against Shinonomi. 
But I got lucky! I'm still alive, so... What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger! I took a bite out of his neck, but he's still alive. I'm gonna do everything I can to take them out. For Takahashi! For Mr. Sayonji! Mr. Nojima, you're so brave! You're an inspiration to me. Damn straight! I'm gonna find a good prosthetic leg and get back in action as soon as possible! Sounds good! As for Mr. Moriwaka, who went up against Kamihara, the bomb he had hidden in his body had severely injured him. But when I saw him the other day, he was like, Hey, Sarko, my hand is gonna be okay soon. You're gonna poke out your eyes once my hand is better. I'm not sure why he wants to take my eyes out, but, uh, he scares me. He's feeling better already? Nice! The bomb exploded right next to him, but, uh, he rolled away just in time, and it wasn't as bad as it looked. But he said he hit his head pretty hard on the wall. Is he okay? Yeah, he said he used to train by cracking rocks with his skull, so... <laughs> I don't know, though. Wow. Speaking of Mr. Moriwaka, the diary of Mr. Moriwaka and Sako, the living legend. What? Yeah, I'm gonna share with you all kinds of interesting episodes about Mr. Moriwaka. Uh, okay. Here we go. A few months ago, I was playing in the park with Mr. Moriwaka. Here we go. What are you doing? Ready to fly? Ha! Ah! I went flying. Wow, he landed on a Lambo. Duh! What happened? I ended up destroying this really nice car that was parked nearby. Then the owner of the car showed up and had to pay for the damages and carry his bag for him for a week. Mr. Morikawa was too busy to help me. Sucks for you. He's gonna kill me someday. At this point, the Kyogoku family had no idea. Jogasaki, he made an ally. Akimutu, it's e Sobi and out there. takajou san I'm tired. Their names were Takajo and Akimoto. They would soon cause a lot of trouble for the Kyogoku family. More about this in a future video. Furthermore, there's a rumor going around that Mr. Ijuin is planning a hit against someone in the Reesing gang. Okay then, moving on. As I was saying earlier, the attack on Mr. Noda. We may soon go to war with the Tennoji family over this, so, in order to find out more about them, I invited a special guest today. I'm Gadai. I'm an informant. These guys operate out of the Kansai area, so there's still a lot we don't know about them, so we asked Mr. Godai to help us out. My information is gonna cost you. You okay with that? Instead of paying you every time, we could just pay you a monthly fee? Like a subscription? <laughs> maybe. In that case, that'll be... Zero, zero million a month. Okay, maybe not. Forget I said anything. The Tanoi family. They're one of the biggest Yakuza family in the Kansai region. And this guy here, Odaki. He runs things these days. He's a vicious and violent man. He never loses his prey. And this guy here, Taka Misawa, is Odaki's right-hand man. He's quite smart. He's basically the brain of the family. The Tanoi family is expanding their territory as we speak. And it's all thanks to these two. Oh man, they sound like trouble. I'm scared. Stop being a whip, Hayami! Honestly, I'm a bit scared too. But you guys work for the Amal family. Everyone fears you. Yeah, that's right! Yeah, you're right. But the Tanoi family, I hear they're very strong too. Uh, apparently, there are two groups inside the family. First up, the Kiddo group. The guy on the left is Asakura, Kiddo's right hand. I hear their group is strong enough to take out other families on their own, if they have to. And they also have a special unit that purchases guns and weapons for each fight. And as for the other group, I'm still looking into it. Wow, this sounds bad. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have told you guys that. Damn, this is way too much for me. I don't know if I have what it takes to make it out here. Well, remember what Mr. Noda told us. When you're weak, you get intimidated by just about anything. 
The weak, they never come out on top! That's right. Let's change things up a bit. Memorable quotes from Mr. Noda. Huh? Let's take a look at some of the memorable things Mr. Noda told us in the past. Interesting. Lots of never-before-seen footage here! Okay, first stop. Forget about the past! The past is determined by the future! Don't get obsessed with the past. It's all about what happens from here on. He told me this when I was feeling down and weak. Yeah, when I got beat up by Mr. Kobayashi, it took me a while to move on, but these words really helped me out. Yeah, speaking of Mr. Kobayashi's beating, let's take another look at it. <laughs> oh! Die! Ah! Stop that! I'm trying to overcome my past trauma here! Okay, one more then. Memorable quote from Mr. Noda, part two. You should experience as much hardship as possible when you're young. Well said! Yeah, no wonder he's so tough on us. He says experience is the most valuable thing in this world. Nobody can take that away from you, and... When you're young, you can take all kinds of risks, so... He's telling us to go out there and try all kinds of new things while we're young. Yeah, once you get old, you can't do that anymore, so... That's right! Well said. We're about to go to war with the Tennoji family, so we've got a lot of work to do. Speaking of war, the epic battle against the Kyogoku family. They made an anime out of it. Anime? What do you mean? This fan of ours, he made it for us. It might give us some clues on how to beat the Tennoji family. Check it out. I struggled for years. The more I tried, the more I realized I wasn't built for this. But I kept at it, and... I kept going. And now I'm here! Wow, that was epic! It was kinda short, though. Who made this again? A fan of ours. Cool! I got more. Look! You might not have much talent, but I still got my ways. Wow, awesome! Mr. Kotoge versus Kuga. That was an epic battle. We got a lot to learn from them. I'm sure Mr. Kotoge will pay a huge part in this war. Yeah, he always pushes himself too hard, though. I hope he doesn't get hurt. Going into a war costs a lot of money, so... Time to raise some money. Check it out, the epic battle scenes from the previous battle. Wait, where's mine? The battle between me and Cigar was pretty epic. Not really. Sorry. Damn it! Our last batch got sold out immediately and we got a lot of complaints, so hopefully that doesn't happen again. If you're interested, check the video description for more details. I'm gonna file a complaint about this. I deserve to be up there! The other day, I went to Osaka with Mr. Kobayashi for a business trip. Kabuto, I'm gonna go grab some takoyaki! Got it. Ah! He nearly choked me to death. He didn't even wear a disguise. He used a fake name, but he said his name was Koidemizu or something? The trip was a mess. More about this in a future video. Why do you sound so upset? What happened? Anyways, these are rough times, but remember this. If you come after us, you're gonna end up dead. We're gonna take out the Kyogoku family and reseed at all costs. Every last one of them! We'll, we'll never, never lose. lose! Never! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos. And please subscribe to the channel.